Hey, what's going on everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy, jumping on real quick, talking about the top three books that you need for your Civil Engineering PE exam, specifically for the breadth sec section of the exam. So hang out with me and we'll get that answered. All right guys, that's the question I have for you. What are the top three books that you bring with you to the civil engineering PE exam, specifically for the breadth section of the exam? And if you have a comment about it, please let me know. You can either shoot me an email, Isaac at Civil Engineering Academy, or leave a comment below. And I would love to find out what you brought with you into the PE exam that helped you the most. So I'm gonna cover it with you today. Here we go. Number one, here's my number one book. The Civil PE Reference Manual. This is the 16th edition of the book. Uh, this thing is the Bible when it comes to studying for the PE exam. It's huge, but this guy is what you want to bring with you into the PE exam. I obviously recommend tabbing this thing up. It's already kind of um, pre-tabbed with sections there, but you're gonna wanna put your own tabs there where equations that you need. Some people just use the back, the index back here. To look up their own um, you know and they get a problem you can look that up anyway that is my number one book right there civil PE reference manual they changed the name I don't know why it used to be called the civil engineering reference manual I guess we're gonna have to find a new acronym for that guy so that's my number one book uh, that you want to bring with you to the exam it's gonna help you with your depth and your breadth section um, so get a copy of that. And if you want a copy, head to civilengineeringacademy.com slash PPI and go ahead and use, that is our affiliate. We're an affiliate with PPI. Go check them out. The second book I recommend is related to that book. That's this guy, The Civil PE Practice Problems. Look at that. It's almost just as thick. That's because these correspond with the chapters in the book. Okay? So if you thumb through that guy, this is what you're going to study your all your homework from. So you got to get this book to go with this book so you can study them together because they go hand in hand. And look at that. You put those things together and holy crap, that thing is thick. Okay, the other book I recommend for the PE exam is this guy right here. Dr. Goswami's Civil Engineering PE Practice Exams, Breadth and Depth. The reason why I really like this book, guys, is because it comes with two breadth exams and your own individual depth exam. It's a pretty, pretty thick little book there. You can find it on Amazon or if you go to Civil Engineering Academy, go look at our resources. We list it there as well. But I really like this book. It has the same look and feel of the um, PE exam, and it's definitely high on my list for those studying for the exam. So there you have it. Those are my top three books for your uh, the things heavy top three books for the civil engineering PE exam specifically for the breadth section so if you have any questions or comments again please leave them below or shoot me an email I'd love to hear what you brought in with you to the PE exam so we can uh, help each other pass the PE exam so hope to help you out we'll see you next time bye